It's a crypto earthquake. Just hold on. Crypto is crashing. Everything is toast. It's not looking good. The earthquake is pretty rough. We're probably pushing at 8.9 out of 9 on the Richter scale. But this butt nut, Michael Saylor, is still hodling. I'm not selling. He says, who is he, the Wolf of Wall Street? No, he's nice and old dude with laser eyes. Crypto is plunging. It looks like Niagara Falls. Overnight, um, everything waterfalled. If you woke up to it, you may have had a heart attack and went back to sleep. But right now, we're getting a strong bounce. And things are looking still shaky. We might get a couple tremors, a couple aftershocks. But it's, uh, it's holding. So we're going to take a look at what's going on with crypto. What's going to rebound? And what are my favorite coins that I think are going to rebound the hardest? Let's dig right in. Trending on Twitter right now, we have crypto trading number one. Number one. Buy the dip, number two. Crypto crash, number three. And then wh whoever this butt nut is, number five, Coinbase. Number six, don't know, don't know. Number eight, Bitcoin. Crypto is all over trending on Twitter. It's very hot right now. One of the reasons why everything probably crashed is because Bitcoin is getting some bad publicity over in China. Bitcoin crumbles below 40,000 on China crypto warning. China has banned financial institutions and payment companies from providing services related to cryptocurrency transactions and warned investors against speculative crypto trading. Red flags. China has banned crypto exchanges and initial coin offerings, but has not barred individuals from holding cryptocurrencies. So I mentioned this. I said this a few months ago. I said the only thing that could hurt crypto is bad press the companies are not going to release bad info you can't have a bad service or product in crypto like stocks the only thing that's going to hurt it is the news the news media is going to crash it and papa musk kind of didn't really help you pull a little gasoline to the flame or he might have even in some of your minds triggered the start of the crash quick commercial break if you want to jump in my retire young discord it's free I open it up to everyone. You can access the free section up here. We have a stocks channel, options channel, crypto channel, free money section, announcements. And then if you want to sign up for pro, that is a paid service. That's where a lot of the members are. You get a pro chat, which is where I'm hanging out and talking and sending charts, all those doodads, stock alerts, and their crypto alerts. I should actually change that to just alerts because anytime I buy or sell crypto or stocks, I send out the alerts in that channel. We have a contest. You can see my portfolio. Here's deep dives, a bunch of other miscellaneous things, and uh, news that just pops up automatically with bots. So a lot of cool stuff in the pro section. Also, I have free available if you want to join that. So that's a quick commercial break. If you want to jump in the Discord, link is in the description. Click that link, and you can just pop right in and start chatting. All right, back to the video. Now, we may have a flippening event with the top dogs, Ethereum and Bitcoin. If we look at this, this is the market caps based on the biggest to the smallest. This is the top guys. And as you can see, Doge has fallen behind Cardano. Cardano is up there. It's at 116 on this little dip. That would have been a nice little dip by it's at 175 right now. It didn't leave it down there for long. Bitcoin, 700 billion. Ethereum, 300 billion. This might happen if Bitcoin continues to fall. Ethereum holds and starts to get back over 3,000 and push up. We might get an interesting race for top dog. Bitcoin might not be the Papa leader anymore. It might be Ethereum. Now, the coins that I like the most, the altcoins that I like the most that I think are going to rebound the hardest and be the best dip by when this crazy earthquake is over, Cardano and Chainlink. I like those two the most. Chainlink is at 32 right now. It was trading at... It dipped all the way down to 26, so that would have been a nice dip by Cardano. It fell all the way down to 105, and now it's up to 180. So these two coins, I think, are going to have the best rebound. They're, all, they're already showing that. Now, if you like hiking, if you like adventure, um, you like you know going up steep inclines and having really good vantage point and views check out bitcoin mountain look at this place it looks like a fun place to visit you climb up you head up you go around you get to the top of the mountain up here you plant your little flag your little red flag you know you made it and then you climb back down you climb back down the mountain all the way back down to base 
and you take a little breather, and then you look for the next mountain, maybe Ethereum Mountain, and you climb up that. Bitcoin Mountain, it's been, it was a fun mountain to climb, and now we're heading down the mountain. Now, Bitcoin on the one minute chart, strong bounce, and now it's trying to hold this level. It's bouncing around, coming up, and making its, making its wave. I mean, it's been chopped in half. It was at 65, it fell all the way down to 30. Was that the happening? Did it happen? Is it over? Now is it time for it to swing back up? Time will tell. Now, out of all the coins, I obviously believe Ethereum has the most functions and use, and that's why it's having this really good bounce. How, how big is this bounce? Oh, just a 48% bounce, no big deal. If you weren't in Ethereum and you're awaiting and you pulled the trigger around 2,000, 1,900, you're doing good. I was already in Ethereum. I sold it locked at 110% profit. I jumped back in at 4,000, but very small position. I'm looking to average and build into this new position, probably average out around 28, 29 for it to run back up. I think Ethereum's gonna run back up. It's already shown an incredibly strong bounce, but it's not stable yet. Gotta wait until it's stable, probably around 24, and then it's gonna head up. Now, because I do believe that Ethereum has the most functionality and the most use, let's do an analysis on Ethereum on a bullish and bearish scenario where I think this is gonna go and when I think the bleeding is gonna stop. So first thing I wanna do is draw some trend line support here where the bottoms are. That looks pretty solid because we have bottom here, bottom here, bottom here, and this just dipped through a little bit, came back up and tested right here. Now, Ethereum should bounce around and maybe touch this line and test it. If it can bounce off this line and get back over here, through here, that's a green flag. It's probably gonna bounce again and then it's gonna start its path heading back up. Ethereum is super strong. That's the bullish case scenario. I will be continuing to buy in throughout the run up. Um, if it doesn't do the run up and it continues to break down, most likely it's gonna come all the way down, probably, to here 1600 would be the bottom i would say that's absolute bottom i would be very confident in going very heavy into my position there now that's only going to happen if the crypto market is not done selling off but we have a lot of bad press lingering bitcoin's getting attacked elon musk is going off the rails uh things don't look great right now so i personally wouldn't be buying unless you're doing unless i'm doing quick scalps in and out quick day trades just to capitalize on these little bounces. Litecoin is another one I like because you could trade this on Robinhood. A lot of people use Robinhood, obviously. The pink line is the line of support that's been holding since eh, December of last year. If it gets back above that line, we're back into a healthy trend. That's all we need to happen. So this pink line here, that's our healthy trend line. Right now it's below it, so I wouldn't be touching it until it gets back over there and maybe test it again on the way up. And then if it breaks out above here, that's when I buy. I do a quick, simple double wave resistance breakout. That's my typical trade that I like to trade a lot. Comes up, test the line, test it again, and then heads up back above here, above this wave. That's my breakout line, and that's usually where I send my, my buy signals, get into these stocks, crypto, and then it usually goes on a nice run. I'll be waiting. I'm patient. I'm very patient. I'm not a goldfish brain. I'll sit back. I'll wait. I'll wait for the perfect opportunity to capitalize on the most returns. I think you're realizing how crazy crypto is. Look at Doge. It just falls off a cliff and then it bounces right back up. Doge fell all the way down to like 21 cents and now it's back in the high 30s. Crazy bounce. If you were to grab that, which is, you'd have to be a ninja to be able to grab this. That's like a 77% jump in the matter of minutes. Crypto, it's bananas. So all markets not looking great today, a very rough day, uh, especially if you just woke up to it and you're like, where's my money? And why are all these bags in my house? I got no room for them. So it's tough, I get it. You gotta hodl, you need to cut losses, you need to average down, you gotta have a plan at the end of the day. So that's it, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe if you're new to the channel, don't forget by hitting that button. It's doing magical things. It's gonna get you a little bit closer to retiring. Young!